damage right off the bat. I need to get to the other side. There must be a way to move these containers. I would like to register a request regarding spelling of my name in official documentation, in likely case of my death at hands of alien invaders. Transliteration of Dimitri into English should use spelling with Y, not I, to prevent creation of inconsistency in historical record. Dimitri with I is name of my grandfather, as noted in previous complaint regarding transliteration of Russian names. I guess I'm not just throw him out of the way. Cause that's what I'm doing. Now there wasn't a side objective over here. I leave these notes in case none of us survive. As I write this, Mentor's Horde is moving closer to the refinery with every passing day, and it makes us all very nervous. The majority of our staff was evacuated three days ago, but the transport couldn't fit all of us. There's only a handful of us left. We have some weapons, but it's not nearly enough. The convoy dropped a bunch of those hollow decoy things. I don't know how this will help, but I guess we can always keep them for a rainy day. I told Max to put them in in storage number five. It has an electric lock, so you have to make sure the door is powered up first. If there's no power, you should run the backup generator near the boiler building. Max still doesn't come back, and I heard some pretty alarming noise. So I don't know if I should go check on him or stay put. Anyway, my prayers are with you. I hope that this doikoi, this doikoi, <laughs> this decoy will be more useful to you than it was for us. Yeah, judging by the blood on the note, it's uh, not good. Did your mama tell you working in public? Oh, we've got some new enemies. Great. Well, these from Doom. Off with this freaking grenade launcher. Never any power when you need it. I'm gonna call you the fart bubble. It's coming when there's a bunch of supplies. And here it comes. Don't you scream at me unless you want to fight, and you lose. Beautiful. Good now. Yep. What the hell is this place? Okay. 
Now, back to the hangar for my reward. Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy. Nope. Oh, frick. Oh, sick. Let's keep going. We gotta go stop teleporting around. That'd be yeah, great. Fuck. This is gonna be harder than I thought. One more. It's dead. Oh, it's dead. Oh, crap. Oh. Alright, that was our first boss fight. Jeez. Wait. I can drive it? Oh yes. Oh yeah, this is sick. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah, come here you Freddy Kruegers. <laughs> like that? What if I put it in reverse? Get in here. I wonder if I can ram this big thing. Come here, ugly. Okay, nope, a fault mission. Did not work. Oh, that's fine. You live and you learn. You fit through the door? No! I don't want to leave it behind, man. Damn it! Oh, yeah. This better have the goods. Of course it's not a reward, it's serious Sam. There are no rewards. Be gone, foul beast. Sometimes the fight is its own reward. Is it though? Aha. Uh -huh. This is what I'm looking for. Rage serum. I guess it's something. It wasn't, wasn't exactly what I wanted, but okay. Hello? Any survivors? Calvary's here. Oh, thank God. I thought I would never make it out of here. These monsters killed my unit and trapped me in here. I tried to contact the local partisans, but they're too far and I... <laughs> I guess I can't call him a survivor anymore. I was going to say that's easy, but now we got so much more.
now we are fine. Holy shit or not? Come on, give me a break. and flies towards Tunguska. If you notice a plane with AAA signs on it, shoot on sight. I repeat, shoot on sight. Hey, can you hear me? I can use a little help. Hello, comrades. Who is speaking? My name's Sam Stone. I'm heading towards Tunguska, but I'm afraid I forgot my travel brochure at home. Wait, Sam Stone himself? Oh, holy shit, man. Uh, my name is Igor Ledo. Where are you exactly? I'm, uh... Not quite sure. Looks like an oil refinery. Wow, you're a long way from home. Listen, you need to get out of that refinery and head straight to the south. Me and my partisan squad can help you to reach Tunguska. We'll be waiting for you in a small village called Kalinovka. You can't miss it. Sounds great. Thanks, comrade. No problem, man. Hey, turn your call link to our channel just in case. Oh, we got a hentai helicopter at us. That's awesome. That's how I thought it would go. Get out of your skeleton demon spot. Dead. 
God, those things are so ugly. <laughs> Another telepoint, yes, Blizz. Definitely, definitely splash damage. That'll be great. Giant robotic chainsaw arm. <laughs> That's four words that were meant to go together. Yeah, I'd put it on me, but it's a bit too big. I got some bad news from our chief security officer today. Ammunition is running low and enemies are advancing on the refinery from the shore. We started to repurpose some old factory equipment for self-defense, and that's when it struck me. When I was a kid, I used to love watching these old movies about giant robots fighting creatures from the ocean. That's how I remember those old cargo robots we bought from Italy a few years back. After three years of hard work and some tricky black magic, we managed to equip those robots with a couple old rocket launchers that an EDF convoy dropped on our doorstep. But that was still not enough, so Max suggested we weld the old industrial chainsaws to their arms. I have no idea how these things ended up in the refinery, but they look like they're at least 200 years old. They're big, dangerous, and somehow still working, so there's something to be said for old-time engineering. Unfortunately, all these modifications drain a lot of juice, so the batteries run out very fast, and the charge time is just unacceptable. I suddenly had to leave my Mac baby in the maintenance hangar. Let's hope the power won't die at the worst possible moment. Yeah, let's hope, uh, let's hope there's big Mac robots for me. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the meeting there, fellas. This is for me. With a chainsaw. I love Russia. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I've got the moves like <laughs> Oh yeah, come to Papa. Oh, this is so fun. Hopefully the battery doesn't run out. Look me in the eyes when I 
like slice you apart. That alarm is not sound good. Damn it! It was fun while it lasted, but every party's got to end sometime. This is true. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.